Hello fifth grade. So we're gonna be making some really cool sugar skulls today and we're actually gonna be doing them symmetrically. Now we probably already talked about symmetry in class so we're just going to get started with the project. Basically you're going to get your black paper and of course make sure your name is on the back. So let's just take a moment to write our name. You should have a pencil to do this with. I'm gonna put Miss Rodriguez. So I have my name on the back. Then you're going to have your paper flat in front of you. You are going to fold it in half like a hot dog style. So you're gonna fold it in half this way. Make sure it's as straight as possible. You always wanna meet corner to corner. And we're going to be doing something called mono printing, which is basically when you put ink on one side, you're going to close it and rub it and it'll appear on the other side. Skulls are symmetrical and we've, we should have already talked about that in class. So we will also be using acrylic paint today. If you've never used acrylic paint, it dries pretty fast. So we're gonna be using that today. You should already have one of these trays with white paint because we're gonna be using white paint to make our skull. So you're going to get your paintbrush and you're going to dip in and we are just going to do the top part of our skull. So you're going to start from the top and you're going to bring that white acrylic maybe like halfway. Okay, really get it on there. Then what we are going to do is fold and then with your, you can put your paintbrush down. You're going to rub And then when you open it back up, you should get the top part of your skull. So you should have that right now. After that, we're going to do the second part of our skull, which kind of like goes inward. So we're gonna grab our paint again. And this one's gonna kind of come in like a little bit closer. And it's good to put a good amount of paint when you're printing. So then we got that part. We're going to do the same thing. Fold and rub. So it's nice in there. And then you should be able to open it up. And then you'll see it on that side. We're getting a lot closer to our skull. We're gonna finish it off by just kind of doing that last connection. connecting line and we're doing it piece by piece because if we just did one big line it might not connect really well it might not print really well so now we're gonna do another fold another rub and now we got a big skull going along so that's gonna be the first part of our skull the next part we're gonna do is the eyes. Now again, you're only doing one half. So go ahead, grab your white paint. You're going to do a circle for the eyes. We're only doing one because we're gonna print the other side. So you should have one eye. Again, go ahead, print. Awesome. Then after that, we're going to do the nose. Now the nose, technically it's one nose, but we're gonna do half of the nose so that when we print, it makes the completed nose. So you're gonna go ahead, grab some white again, and you're going to do half. If you wanna make like a specific type of nose, you can. Uh, skulls have just very simple nostrils. So you could just do kind of like a half a nose. Go ahead and print again. Always rub, that way it really gets to the other side. And it'll have like a interesting looking nose. If you feel like it's not connecting fully, I just kind of fix it. All right, now we're gonna do our teeth. Now our teeth, um, we're gonna be using the white paint to just kind of like make little dots. 
and you're gonna want to have your brush facing downward. If you do it upward, your teeth are gonna look a little weird. You kinda wanna do it downward, so you're gonna grab a lot of paint and you're gonna make one dot, that's a tooth, another dot next to it, that's another tooth, another dot next to it, another dot next to it, and then, yeah, I honestly, honestly, I can only fit like four of them. And then we're gonna also do the bottom teeth. So make sure this time when you're doing the bottom teeth, you want your paintbrush upward. You're going to do the same thing, a dot, a dot, a dot, and I could probably fit like one more dot. So that's half of the teeth. We're gonna print again. Remember to always rub that in so it goes to the other side. And there you go, my teeth got a little, I probably put too much paint, but you know, it happens and it's like a, a skull. So even if it looks a little wonky for the teeth, you should be fine. The next thing we are going to do is kind of add like our um, fun details that sugar skulls have. So we're gonna do this with white paint again, like I said, <clears throat> and then we're actually gonna um, do this the coloring in part with color later on with oil pastels. But we're gonna use white paint again, and we're gonna do those beautiful like swirls that are on sugar skulls. I'm gonna do my swirl probably on the forehead first. So I'm just going to do one, oh, I forgot. I did the opposite side, oh no. I'm just gonna do this side since I already printed it. So I'm gonna do that side and that should be connecting to the middle. You're gonna print. There we go, so we got one swirl there. You can do your own details. I'm going to just kind of keep going. I uh, kind of want my skull to have these like eyebrows with lines coming out of them. Print. I'm also going to do like this line corner over here. I'm gonna do like a circle. And then that circle can probably have some lines going inward. This will make your skull look like it has uh, cheekbones. So it'll be really cool to add this little detail to it. Maybe we can even add a dot inside of it, because why not? We're having fun at this point. We're just adding like fun little details. Always rub it. All right. I think this is coming out pretty good. Um, if you want to add any extra details you can just be careful because again like paint starts to squish and it gets a little bigger i'm going to maybe add like a couple more dots or maybe if you want to add like a flower because we we always have flowers in our sugar skulls i'm going to add like a little flower to that side because i have some space there Oh yeah, I like that. I add some flowers. Ooh, I, over here I have a little bit of space to do some dots. Oh, I did the opposite side again. It's okay if you do the opposite side as long as you are still doing the print to the other side. It's still mono printing. And then I could probably add like a swirl. I need a little bit more paint. Maybe like a little bit of a swirl to this side. And yeah, I think I'm almost done with my skull. And I think we are good. So you should have a skull kind of like that. Oh, we forgot the inside of the eyes. Right, right, right. If you wanna add like a little dot to the inside of the eyes, one that's like one more thing we can add. Yours doesn't have to look exactly like mine. It could look a little different. Ooh, yeah, I think that added that like spookiness to it. And if you wanna add details on the outside, you are more than welcome to with the white. Um, at this point, we're gonna let the paint dry a little bit 
and we'll probably go get our oil pastels so that it could dry this is acrylic paint so it should dry kind of fast i would before you even put any oil pastels on this i would for sure touch it to make sure it's dry like this part is for sure still kind of wet this is kind of dry this is kind of dry oh a little bit like you, if you just start to touch it and notice that it's still wet just kind of like fan it with your hands or just give it like a minute honestly like it probably just needs like a minute or two to dry because acrylic paint dries kind of fast compared to other paints so just let it dry go maybe like wash your hands if you have paint on your hands or anything else uh but yeah and then my future self in person will handle the rest <laughs> 